Hey guys, Pete here with GIS Solutions. Today I'm going to show you how to measure a point to the edge of a polygon using the Grass Vector Distance Tool in QGIS. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so let's get started. So as you can see here, I have two layers, well actually three layers, in my QGIS project. I have some address points. I have this polygon of a lake boundary, as well as a Google satellite imagery in the background. So what I'm trying to do is calculate the distance, the shortest distance between the point and the edge of this polygon. So the first thing we're going to do is add a column to our address points so that the, dis the distance can be calculated. And to do that, I'm just going to right click onto my address point layer here, open the attribute table. We click on this button right here to toggle the editing mode. I'm able to add a column right here or a new field. So the, the name, I'm going to say distance. The type, we're going to need to make it a real number. And I'm just going to shorten the length a little bit. We say eight, and the precision we could just say one. Okay, and I'll say okay. And if I scroll all the way over, you can see here's that new distance field. Now I can either just click on save, save edits, or I could just toggle out of the editing mode, and it'll ask me to save those edits and I'll say yes. Okay, so let's go and close out of that. And if you don't have your processing toolbox open, what we could do is just come up here to processing toolbox and this will open. And the tool we're looking for is under this grass set of tools, vector, and then distance, v dot distance. Now, if you don't want to drill down there, you can just go to the search box and type in v.distance and that tool will come right up here. So we could double click. So now the parameters here are from and to. So we're going to go from our address points to the lake polygon boundary. So I'm going to switch this here to my polygon. Now here we could set a minimum and a maximum distance. It's just optional. I'm just going to leave that um, the way it is. This here, upload values. Um, if you click onto this, these three dots here on this button here, I'm going to change it to distance. Now we could calculate the distance, we could calculate the latitude or longitude or the angle or along a certain line, but in this case I'm just going to select distance. We'll go back. down too far and the last thing I'm going to change is the upload now this is the column we just made on that point layer called distance <clears throat> excuse me and this is what we wanted to um, populate on this new column here okay and I'm going to leave everything else all the options just the way they are um, we can also save the output to a, a to a permanent file somewhere by clicking over here and saving to the file. But I'm just going to let it uh, generate a temporary file for now. Okay, so if I go ahead and run, it's going to go through its process here. And what it did, it created two temporary shape files. The one is distance, which is showing you the distance from that point to the closest boundary of this polygon. And then what it also did was create a duplicate of this address points layer, and they call it nearest. And here is where they calculated the, um, the distance, right over here. So just to measure and just to spot check that, if I select this top one here, oops, let me scroll over again, it's saying 217. So if I zoom to that one, just bring this guy out of the way. So it's saying from this point 
to the edge, the nearest edge of this boundary is 217 meters. And I'll use my tool here, measuring line tool. Sorry, I have two um, screens. Change that back to meters. And if I just start here and I follow that line, it measures about 217. So that, that comes out correctly. And as far as the distance line work, it just appears to be more of a visual more than anything. But the calculation is in the nearest shape file. Okay, so that's just a, a quick and easy way to find the nearest distance between your point and the nearest polygon on the boundary. Um, I hope you guys found this useful. Um, as always, you guys just leave a comment down below if you have any questions. And if you're new to the channel, uh, welcome. And if you click that subscribe button, you'll be notified um, every week when I put out a new video. And as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.